So today we're going to be discussing my designer handbag collection. Now these are the miscellaneous brands that wouldn't fit into their own videos for my 2024 designer bag collection. Today we're going to be discussing some Givenchy, a little bit of Celine, some Ferragamo. And if you want to see other brands in their own videos, check out the designer playlist down in the description. There's going to be Hermes, LV, Fendi, Gucci, Coach Duty, you name it. So check out the playlist. Now, before we dive into today's video, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Consider joining the membership. We have an awesome community, extra perks, access, early access to new videos, meetups, Discord, you name it. It's pretty awesome. So go and check it out. Now, to kick it off, we're going to start out with the bag that I actually carried this week. This is my Givenchy Pandora. This is the medium sized Pandora. I think this is from 2012, maybe 2011. I can't remember, but the colorway is actually pretty rare. This is the color Sky Blue. I know, amazing. And this is that washed goat skin. This is the Pepe leather, which is phenomenal. Now, even though this is an older bag and I didn't pay a whole lot for it, I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -Y uh, I still get tons of compliments when I take this out in public. Like this is everybody's favorite bag. Now it kind of reminds me of either like denim or like rippled water with like the light hitting the, the, like the top of the, the sea. And it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Now with this style, you have a couple of different compartments. The main body opens here, a couple of pockets here on the front. And honestly, with how much I love this Pandora, I wouldn't mind adding a second or a third to my collection. So let's keep things in the realm of French designers while we're at it. And let's talk about my new Celine Boogie bag. <laughs> So this bag, you guys, I unboxed this, I think in January. This was one of my first unboxings for 2024. I freaking love this bag. I found this for $140 on eBay, took a chance, and I could not be happier. Now this is from Michael Kors era Celine. And no matter what you say about Michael Kors these days, he really helped put Celine on the map and kind of you know, paved the way for Celine as we know it today. And Michael was able to do that through bags like the Boogie Bag, the Jet Set Lifestyle Ready to Wear Runway Collections. And I am so glad he did. Like I said, the Boogie is one of my favorite bags. I have a full review on this on my channel. Go and check it out. And if you want to be on trend for 2024, the Celine Boogie bag is going to do that because East West bags are huge this year. Just look at what Hermes did in their most recent runway. So like I was saying, if you can get your hands on a Boogie, just do it. You won't regret it. Now, if you've been around my channel for a little bit of time, then you might be here because some of my earlier Balenciaga videos, I was obsessed like everyone else was with the Moto style bags. And sadly, I only have a few pieces still left in my collection from that era of my collection. Now, chief among them is going to be the envelope clutch. When it comes to the envelope clutch, I have three. I have the Noir with the rose gold hardware still, the Blue Tropical from I think spring summer 2012 in you guessed it, giant rose gold hardware. And last but not least, I have the Brogues style and the Raisin. This is the giant covered hardware. And it is so nearly impossible to find Brogues hardware Balenciaga still in good condition because much like, you know, LVs when they, you know, when they cover the buttons on like the Rosalie wallets or the Josephine wallets, if you're not careful with these, they do wear out really quick. And I got so lucky, even though I'm not a huge Balenciaga collector anymore, this raisin will literally never leave my collection. I love it that much. Now, speaking of Balenciaga, I have the Hacker Project bag. This is from their collab with Gucci way back in what was it, 2022 at this point? Like it's been a good minute. I had to fight to get this bag. This is one of those things where like you're, you're calling essays, they're checking New York, they're checking here, they're checking there. And luckily the Chicago boutique concession came through for me, called me and I ran into the city and picked it up. And I'm happy I did. This is like the perfect little weekend bag. It's the right size. And I loved it so much. I bought the Gucci Ophidia version from, well, from Gucci. <laughs> Now, to wrap up Balenciaga, I have two SLGs still. First is going to be the zipped coin purse. This is in the color sky blue, if I remember right. And I actually use this to hold my Bang & Olufsen headphones. They pop right in. This looks really cute with a lot of my bags. And my husband also purchased me my last and remaining Balenciaga wallet. Gosh, I used to have a pile of them. But now I'm down to like the ZCP style card holder wallet. And he was able to find this with the dust bag, all the original paperwork and price tag. And I love this wallet, you guys. Now, I usually grab my... Louis Vuitton Brazza wallet, but I used this last week with my Givenchy Pandora, and like I, I can see why I loved it in the first place. This is such a cute wallet. So before I talk about the last two bags in this collection, let's wrap up SLGs and talk a little bit about Ferragamo. Now this Ferragamo wallet is from the Fiamma collection, and the bags from that, that collection are just 
fantastic. I don't have any in my collection, obviously. I would have shown it to you already, but I have the wallet. And this is done in a really beautiful electric blue snake skin. And this front compartment, just like its namesake handbag, the Fiamma, this lock mechanism opens up the flap to reveal a little bit more storage space, area for coins, area for cash. And overall, this is a really good wallet and I kind of want to add the matching bag to my collection. Now, next up, I'm going to share with you guys one of the newest additions to my designer handbag collection, and that is my Marc Jacobs Blake multi-pocket large hobo. Say that 10 times fast. So this bag, you guys, is synonymous with the Devil Wears Prada. I've explained it before. We had Poshmark drama related to this design of handbag, and after all these years of searching, fighting, hoping, I have it in my collection. And this bag, you guys, I haven't carried it out yet, but I love the design and I'm so glad I got this beautiful sandstone color. It's a really beautiful, warm, neutral, and it's gonna be perfect for summer, spring, fall, you name it. And I love all the ridiculous noise that these buckles make. And I was able to get this bag, you guys, for only $55 when it originally retailed autumn winter 2005 for $995. Can we please have those prices back again? All right, let's round this out with one of my favorite bags. You guys, I wanted this bag for 10, 15 years at this point, and after I unboxed it, it might have caused a little bit of a storm here on YouTube. A lot of folks over in the Discord purchased Rickies, a lot of other content creators have purchased Rickies. That's just a testament to how amazing this bag is. This is the Ralph Lauren Ricky, and I have the size 33. This is the soft Ricky, and this color is RL Gold, which is like Ralph Lauren's answer to Hermes Gold. Now, this bag does come with a shoulder strap, but I mean, you wouldn't carry a Birkin with a strap, so why would I do that to my Ricky? And this bag, you guys, it looks beautiful open, and it looks beautiful closed. Personally, I like it the closed way, which takes me a minute to get in and out. If Ralph Lauren wants to call me and do a brand deal, give me a few minutes to get inside my Ricky. <laughs> because I, I want to take that call. Anyway, if you can get your hands on a Ricky or if you've ever wanted a Ricky, this is your sign to do so because this has quite possibly become one of the best bags in my collection, hands down. All right, guys, and that wraps up my miscellaneous designer handbag collection 2024. Now, like I said, make sure to go down in the description. I'm going to have the entire 2024 designer bag playlist linked down below. And we're only halfway through March. So there's going to be several more episodes added there. And I am so excited. Anyway, guys, until next time, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.